is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. The WWE Natalia and the Ravishing Russian Lana. for the match to start. Oh, and now we have a brawl on our hands. Oh, yeah. They didn't need the match to start to make a point. Lariat. Ooh. Oh, right to the jaw. Dominating shoulder tackle. Scoot slam. Oh, nasty impact. Boom, what impact! You gotta believe this one's over! What a stomp! Good grief! Here we go, guys. Tag team action is underway. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. You know what I like about her? She's approaching this match the same as she would if the title was on the line. Beautiful technique. Natalia now in a little bit of trouble. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, now is probably a good time to look for the tag. This is bad, guys. This match has been trending in the wrong direction for her almost from the opening bell. This might be it! Oh, my! to get tagged in here. She's losing steam here, fellas. This might be where her opponent looks to put her away. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Picking the spot. Oh. And set him up. Oh, oh, and him yes. That's going to hurt. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Impact. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Natalia is in trouble. She's looking at it. <laughs> She's back in full. She goes for the cover. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Uso. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. We got a cover. Lana with the easy kick out. Nice kick out there. She 
goes down hard. She's going to be feeling that one for a while. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. We're looking at complete domination here. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2007. She might have it. Ooh, what impact. This might be it, guys. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Oof, incredible. Lana's just getting overwhelmed. She goes for the cover. They did it! Wow, what a match! And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. The superstars in this one got after it pretty good from the opening belt. Can't complain about the effort, Here technical proficiency, winners, or result. The Voda I and Ramel Gonzalez. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. Sometimes you step in the ring and just refuse to lose. I think that's what we saw here tonight.